Ever since Columbine, the shooting in Columbine High School in Colorado, there's been this effort to protect kids and superintendents are under a lot of pressure to make sure the students are safe when they get there. And so they have already been spending money on some of these hardening, hardening of the school. This was passed in March of 2018, about a month after this, the school shooting in Parkland, Florida. And uh, it was a, a rapid response to that. And the first of these grants went out in October. So it was a very condensed grant process. One of the interesting things, um, they baked into this bill where some of these grants will go. So they won't all go to school districts with the most history of violence. Uh, a lot of shoot these school shootings have happened in suburban areas or rural areas. The bill set out and earmarked some of this, these funds to go to rural areas and some to go to the urban areas where you might expect to have uh, you know, metal detectors at the school. You have, a lot of times in the federal government, you have these big numbers. Like for instance, this program is close to a billion dollars over the next 10 years. But it's really interesting to see where the local agencies spend that money and how they spend it. And that's kind of the strength of, of a grant program like this is you're giving money into the hands of, of local school districts who know what their needs are. Some of this money, this grant money, is going to come up with safety plans and assessments of, of how, school, how safe these schools are. Uh, some schools have never really gone through an assessment and, and seen what they need to do and, and if they need a video camera system or if they need different locks. And so this is a lot of, some of this money is going towards that.